Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. It looks like Cardi B and popular social media influencer Ray Monte got into a bit of a scuffle today on Twitter. Let's go ahead and break it down and get into where it began and where it ends. So this basically started off with Ray Monte's popular birthday trip where he invited a few of his influencer friends. Now mind you, each one of these influencers have over 500,000 followers so some pretty popular people now they decide to make content while they're on this trip get ready with me go with me to the airport what i did on the trip and mind you it's getting hundreds and thousands of views like everybody is tuning in to this birthday trip because of course it was very very comical now this rendered one question for fans where is the brands where's the sponsorship deals we didn't see any of these influencers promoting any type of products which basically means no brands reached out to them while they were on this trip and getting all of these views which a lot of fans were disappointed in i mean essence even decided to make a whole article about it how they felt like it was very unfair and they felt like if these were white influencers they definitely would have got a lot of sponsorship deals essence was also talking about on this article how a lot of brands always talk about how they want to bring in diversity but this would have been the perfect opportunity for them to have some type of diversity but they missed it by not reaching out to any of these influencers well of course fans decided to come in and give their thoughts and opinions and they were talking about how they felt like Ray Monte and his content is quote-unquote ghetto and it can be seen as quote-unquote ratchet and it's not marketable or well, Ray Monte decided to respond and this is the video that he made and this is what he had to say I don't think I'm as ghetto as everyone tries to make it seem and what bothers me as a black person you guys say that I'm ghetto but Cardi B who doesn't look like a visible black woman to me and this is no shade to you Cardi B this is no Shay, this is just literally a fact. She is very, very ghetto. She's way ghettoer than me. She's way harder gangster greasy with me. She was outside. Y'all don't say that this lady is ghetto. Y'all don't say that she is not marketable. It feels like everyone can be ghetto and, and black besides ghetto and black people. And again, no shade to you, Cardi B. I'm just doing a comparison. My content has always been uplifting women. I've always said so many things about women, like to encourage them and be amazing. And, and I might make a little joke about a relationship or a boy. I literally don't get that. I have so much positive content that I don't even say a cuss word in. That is so uplifting with so many people, so many diverse groups, ethnicities. So what do y'all want to put me in this ghetto, sad black trope for? I am from the hood. Yes, I am, but I have layers to me. I am, I can have a deep, articulate conversation with you. Stop criticizing me. Another thing, I have always been an advocate for higher education. I have always sent people in college money for food. I tell people to stay in school, get your degree. I talk to people with their nine to five and say how people with nine to fives push the world. I talk about um body positivity, all types of things. So what do y'all be wanting to make All I say is... As you guys can hear, Raymonte did compare himself to Cardi B and he said that Cardi B is an artist and she is a person who was actually seen as quote unquote ghetto and ratchet, but she still gets a lot of sponsorships and she still gets huge brand deals. Well, this is kind of what started the confliction between Cardi B and Ray Monte when a fan wrote and said, this honestly has me weak with the Cardi B comparison because people been bashing Cardi B years ago, always calling her ghetto. Just say that you don't like Cardi B and stop saying her name. Cardi B responded back and she said, it's crazy because when I became famous, people said I'm ghetto, talked ish about my accent, called me dumb because of the way I speak, say I got no cooth, talk about my teeth, my braids, my two buns. And to this day, no matter what I accomplish, I still get called a stripper all because I'm from the ghetto. People misinterpret me because apparently I'm loud and ghetto till this day call me a hood rat and all. When I sat down with Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, they called me a ghetto stripper. What? When? Why is it that y'all gotta use me to make y'all comparisons because y'all only see the glory but not when I get dragged 24-7? Question mark. Leave me the F alone and out of y'all BS. Ray Monte responded back and said, girl, why are you getting so mad at the comparison I'm saying? you are successful and reach heights that visibly black people ghetto people have a harder time reaching that act just like you i'm not saying that you don't deserve your success or how you act is bad i'm saying that if someone that was my color or darker acts the same way we 
we will never receive the same awards or love you're being very dense sukiana s red city girls the list goes on you've had major campaigns that ghetto black women and men like me will never get it's a deeper conversation i'm not trying to offend you at all to not think that you have it easier to be seen as marketable because you're lighter is crazy cardi b responded back and she said that's not what you said you said nobody called me ghetto and now you move in the goalposts. you know why i'm at where i'm at right now because i took all of those no's and recognized what i had to change i had to change the way i talk i had to change the way that i respond and how i represent myself you're ignoring all that and playing the color card because you don't like me and it's f up you're using all these other women as red is making bangers and on tour with drake i bet my money she's going to win female rapper of the year because she's grinding and working hard and not letting people calling her ghetto distract her from the top so miss me with that and y'all already know in my recent video where i was talking about s red I did say red she works hard i seen those behind the scenes video i you know encourage you to watch the behind the scenes if you think that s red is just this industry plant and you know she has no talent because she definitely works hard behind the scenes i agree with this she does deserve to be where she is raymonte replied back and he said you saying i'm using other women when me and you had our talk months ago and you said why don't i call ice spice a mexican you bring up other people not me i'm not bringing in any other woman in this i think that y'all all are great it wasn't to offend or hurt you in any shape or form cardi b responded back and she said same reason why you felt comfortable calling me a mexican when i'm dominican and i asked you why you feel comfortable calling me a mexican when ice jerell jerome zoe so donna are dominicans and you don't do that to them you do it to me because you know that's what people use to hurt me same way as you use my name in that video knowing exactly what you're doing raymonte responded back and said all i was trying to to say is that her being ghetto or getting called ghetto doesn't hinder her career essence wrote an article and asked why was my viral birthday trip not sponsored by any brands and y'all said it was because i was quote unquote ghetto and quote unquote not marketable so i'm giving an example of another person who is quote unquote ghetto that has reached a high level of success it didn't hinder her so why should it hinder me that's all didn't mean to offend her or to get dragged i use her as the example because quote unquote ghetto or quote unquote rap ratchetness is what helped propelled her career it was called being quote-unquote relatable this is not no stand twitter ish this is real life politics within the black community and entertainment industry i'm confused on why i'm getting so much h-a-t-e cardi b responded back and decided to give raymonte some advice she said here's my advice to you raymonte it takes time right now i get brand deals for over five million for a campaign sheesh she said i got social media famous in 2014 my first brand deal was from Fashion Nova in 2016 and $200 a post okay so she definitely got it out the bottom imagine going from $200 a post to five million dollars for a campaign okay she said you could reach any height no matter how ghetto or where you come from just remember the key is to be patient and to be humble blessing so I love the way that these two ended things off it didn't get crazy I mean they talking about being ghetto and ratchet and all this stuff like that but things didn't get to that point so I'm super proud of Raymonte super proud of Cardi B I do think that Cardi B was first trying to take what Raymonte Monte was saying as offensive i can understand where she would kind of take it as offensive but if we're being completely honest people have been saying this about cardi b for the longest time like because cardi b was and she's saying that she's dominican now cardi b has to understand that people are saying that that could be an advantage as well but honestly in my opinion i really think what really advanced cardi b over a lot of other people is the fact that a lot of people no matter who you were what race you were people thought that cardi b was very funny especially in the beginning of her career i think that's what helped her with a lot of her sponsorships and brand deals now of course ice spice name got brought into this ice spice actually decided to respond and she said no offense barty it's because i have a dominican parent and a black one cardi b responded back and she said i think there might be some confusion on what was said i asked why he feels so comfortable calling me mexican i have no mexican parents my mom is trini she came out of a black woman my father is dominican i'm 
Dominican just like you. I also use other Dominicans as an example because as you should know, a lot of times we get clustered into one because of the language. Also, can you send me that pic you took of me with your camera from Vanity Fair? Thank you. And then Ice Spice, she sent the picture and she said, Dilo Mio. Now look, I don't speak a lick of Spanish, so excuse me if I said that wrong. Y'all can correct me in the comment section. But I think this conversation that was had between Raymonte and Cardi B was definitely necessary. I think Cardi B has to understand that Raymonte has just basically reiterated something that has been said for a long time about Cardi B that they feel like her advantages or she had advantages because I mean she is Dominican she's of a lighter skin tone versus where a lot of other black people darker black people would act the way that she acts and they wouldn't get as much attention they would have never got as many brand deals and I don't think Ray Monte was trying to be shady obviously people have to stop acting like Ray Monte was just like why didn't I get any sponsorships why didn't I get any brand deals from my viral birthday trip no he didn't it was a whole article that was written about him Essence wrote a whole article about his birthday trip and how they felt like it was unfair because they didn't see any of the influencers on that birthday trip have any sponsorships and any brand deals and then fans started to talk about oh it's because he's ghetto oh it's because his content is ratchet and ghetto and he was kind of forced to speak out and say something and compare himself to other celebrities who he feels like acts the same way as him and kind of defend who he is his name and his content so I understand where he was coming from maybe you guys don't like I said I'm just glad that these two ended things well because I really thought that things was going to get crazy especially because they talking about quote-unquote ghetto-ness and quote-unquote ratchetness things could have definitely got that way but I'm glad it didn't y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload follow me on Instagram at room for tea with two A's at the end I'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night